you all guys are safe and uh, doing well during this time. Um, so this video of mine is related to clear out your confusions, your puzzles of which data logger could be better for my various applications, uh, various uh, capacities of the site, and uh, how you know uh, data utilization could be uh, of my plant depending on the type of data loggers that are available today in the market. As you know that there are you know several several uh, data loggers available today. Uh, maybe might be a few tens or hundreds, uh, which includes uh, some very 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 basic. I'll say very basic. Uh, level data loggers and the low price, price data loggers to the uh, top quality and the uh, you know highest price of course but then how uh, you can identify that you know uh, which could be the best data logger for you for your applications uh, whether what should be the uh, price range in which you should really spend uh, when you really talk about uh, collecting the data from your fields and specifically onto the uh, monitoring uh, aspects Sometimes we used to, you know, uh, think like monitoring is just a secondary concern for us. Primary concern is to set up the plant as quickly as possible and run it. But that's not, uh, that should not be the practice, actually. The practice is, of course, the running of the plant, plant is, uh, is, prime important, is, is of prime importance. But at the same time, it should be done with utmost care, a proper design, proper engineering, proper layout, proper civil work for the foundations are really, really, really crucial. And about that, to monitor all this over a period of its running, uh, monitoring is uh, really needed and it's quite crucial. We cannot, we cannot ignore it uh, simply. Like uh, we cannot say if, it, if, if my plant is a few, few tens of kilowatts, I really don't need monitoring because I have just put up uh, the quality uh, inverters, the quality modules, and the structures are also like from the or of the quality uh, makes and uh, the, the the strength of the structures are good. No, you cannot say no to the monitoring even for that purpose. Your smallest plant of even a single kilowatt requires that level of care which your megawatt level of plants require. That is why. That is why it becomes more crucial for you to identify a common cataloger and an overall centralized monitoring solution, which you can rely upon when you are doing a project of a few kilowatts or a few tens of kilowatts or a few hundreds or even megawatts. You really don't need to exercise again and again thinking about I should put this brand or this make of data logger on this project or this make of this brand of data logger on that project and this and that. And finally, when you grow up in your business, you uh, might have uh, several tens or hundreds of sites all across. And then finally, at the end, you will, when you will analyze, you will see that now you have ended up with multiple portals. For particular sites, you have to access onto a particular portal to view on. For some other sites, you have to log in onto some other portals to view. Some portals are having some concerns. The other portals are having some other concerns. And uh, in this way, uh, you know, you really uh, feel puzzled that how you can bring them centralized on a common platform. Is it really possible? Doesn't matter what what is your uh, capacity of the of the plant. Yes, that is possible. But for that, we have to do a slight small exercise we have to be very careful while identifying the suitable data logger that are present in the market and it's not that difficult and it's not that easy as well i'm saying it's not that difficult and easy at the same time i'll tell you today as i've said at the very beginning of my of my video that uh, there are data loggers that are very low cost uh, with almost almost no name of quality to the highest quality standards following data loggers that are quite costly as well but then they justify their cost. We have to we have to be very clear that you know we cannot compare first of all each and every data logger with each with each other saying that this is also a data logger that is also a data logger how come this much this data logger is too costly and this data logger is not that much. I mean uh, does it mean that the company is getting this much of earning this much of margin from this data logger and from our pockets? The answer is no. The big difference is. They are manufacturing, their quality, their type, their certifications, their testing, their levels of performance, their uh, whether they are uh, certified for the industrial uh, purposes or not. So there are and the type of the components that are being utilized inside. This might be utilizing a rupee one capacitor. This might be utilizing a rupee twenty capacitor or a twenty five rupees capacitor, which you will never ever be able to know 
in the very few days of uh, implementing these loggers on site part you will definitely definitely understand the difference once you know you'll be uh, you'll, you'll uh, utilize and you will see uh, you will monitor regularly uh, the difference and you will see that within 30 days time this device has really started up becoming more costlier 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 and one day this cost the running cost of this device will even cross the level of this device price why because the running cost of this device will not be linear the running cost of this device might be like this it might be an exponential curve but this will be a linear 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 curve is going to stay over like this the reason behind this why i'm talking about the running cost the reason behind this is these low cost data loggers that are available today in the market and are uh, unfortunately our solar segment is getting biased more and more towards those low cost solutions because we want to get the projects at a very low cost in the competition and that is the same that we have seen recently during uh, recent cyclones uh, in fact like Amphan and uh, the other one that has come up recently in Maharashtra we have seen that uh, our installations our solar installations have not been able to even sustain the wind speeds of 90 kilometers per hour the structures are just blown away so uh, the, why, why it happened to us? We never thought of uh, quality civil work because otherwise it would have incurred more cost. We never thought of uh, putting up uh, the proper mountings because it would have costed up for additional labor work and additional mandates. Uh, we never thought of having proper monitoring. Why? Because it would have uh, costed up uh, a few thousands more to us in the loss and ultimately we would have lost that project and we could not have uh, won there to do that work. Ultimately, what is the result? As a result, it's a bad name that we have earned because our project that we implemented a few months ago or maybe a few days ago has just blown up. So this is where quality, quality and quality comes up and plays a very crucial role and which we really should not ignore, which we unfortunately are today, just to get some products. So in the market, we have to make sort make of our consortium that we have to first think about quality and then talk about the price range. Think about the quality that is needed for your projects. I'm not talking about always going to a top level of the quality, which is not needed. But at least go to the level which is minimum, minimum mandatory for your type of projects. My this video is more concerned towards the solar segment. You might have understood it in my discussions. So as I said, that there are several data loggers available in the market today. Most of the local data loggers are not authorized or not meant. For the usage in industrial applications and solar is one of the industrial application which you really know very well so i mean how these are available in the market these are the simple chips that comes up from the countries like china they make up these chips in bulks in in lakhs even multi-millions and these chips are generally called orange pie or raspberry pi boards on these boards it's quite easy to put up your programs to put up your firmwares and just to bring them up with some few added margins in the market without the know-how of the hardware ultimately customers like us when we really talk about pricing so oh, i'm so glad to get this device at such a low price this will this is fulfilling all my needs this is capable to take my five six seven inverters that's all i need for the monitoring of my plant this is what is the normal thinking of us when we really talk about the data loggers we have to change that thinking so when we talk about these data loggers, which are raspberry pi boards or orange pi boards, these boards are meant for the educational purposes, not for the utilization in industries. These can be utilized for 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 the uh, for the home purposes, for example, or for the uh, small applications where you just need to collect a very very limited and a few parameters for uh, maybe like seven to eight or nine parameters at most. And we talk about the number of devices, like inverters, in case of solar. A single inverter can have over 100 parameters to be collected. A five inverters to collect, you can imagine that at least at minimum, you have 500 parameters every time in every single data file to collect. Apart from the navigation to the inverter, you might have meters, you might have sensors, and just add on their uh, parameters that you might uh, like to get and uh, to monitor. So this cuts out, first of all, your low cost terminology and thinking of the data loggers. This takes them out completely out of the picture, even for your smallest of the plant having single data loggers. Now comes the one which are proclaimed as, as, as Make in India initiative based or uh, Made in India sort of data loggers. 
frankly speaking and truly speaking today there is no data logger which is entirely born up and brought up in india yes in india we are doing assemblies there are several data logger makes that are being assembled but the core of each and every data logger which is a chip or a board is always either raspberry pi or orange pi or such pi boards which comes up always from china and are really 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 low cost modules that are available in bulk in few hundred bucks to scrap out and we really like to get them in india because we know that there is a market for this and the market has been created by us only because we are uh, more conscious of us low cost things that's why these data loggers should never never be considered you should never consider them for your projects unless it's for the home purposes home purposes means for your local home automation not even for the residential solar i'm talking about the home automation then comes the question that okay um, if not those and what because other solutions might be quite costly other solutions might be slightly costly not that costly as i given you as i've already given you an example that these sort of local solutions might become costlier and costlier and then there will be no break in their uh, cost additions when it comes to their running cost they might cost several and numerous and endless troubles on site for which you might have to make several visits which might incur which might add on to your overheads and these overheads which you may not have taken any time in your budgetings when you prepared or you waited for the particular project so it's always better as you know i mean it's a very old saying sasta roe bar bar mehanga roe ek bar so this is what because that's only your first time that you have to invest considering your projects performance for 25 years project life for 25 years project costing your earnings you cannot deny to put up a quality data logger on your side and this is where webdin plays a very crucial role because webdin's data loggers are very well balanced in terms of quality and price they are not at that level in terms of pricing obviously they are not at this level of in terms of pricing they are at this level of in terms of pricing and in this level in terms of quality i'm not saying at this level but at this level for sure so this is what we try to give as a perfect balance to the industry all our data loggers are 100% made in france they follow the strict european standards they follow the strict us based standards because our products are also being used and uh, implemented on solar applications in in us they are us certified they are ce certified they are certified for the safety standards for rohs they are certified for emi emc compliances they have been uh, tested rigorously under several conditions they are uh, certified for uh, uh, for radio directives for radio communications for low voltage directives to work on to low voltage terminologies so these these are the standards these are the minimum standards that any data logger should follow irrespective of their application areas so webdin data logger follow all this plus we have the expertise of almost now uh, of almost 20 years webdin is present in the market since 2020 since 2000 so since 2000 and it's 2020 so almost 20 years we are in the market and we have sent of the entire team of webdin is dedicated for r&d so with this team we have been dedicated to design and develop our own m2m -M data loggers for various for various requirements for various sectors for various applications be it defense be it uh, smart cities be it solar be it renewables other than solar be it hybrid systems be it transportation for vehicle tracking uh, and uh, localizations or the vehicle's performance or be it the industry to monitor energy efficiency we are in each and every sector or more importantly webdin is a member of lora alliance and g3 plc alliance for power line communications so we have dedicated ourselves in the communications sector only we have not diversified into many other sectors leaving the core expertise just like that so uh, if you will see that most of the data logger companies these local data logger companies are not dedicated that is again one of the more point for example uh, the web boxes or the or some of the inverter based data loggers that are not from their own portfolio mind you inverter companies never manufacture data loggers themselves they are just outsourced products being marked with their right labeling uh, formats and they attach it to their inverters and they sell it that's what is this scenario today and tomorrow if the company if the oem who is supplying them the data loggers stops their support or stops manufacturing or stops or modifies the data logger version or anything inverter guys will simply say that this was 
or free to you, or this was for a disk cost above the minimum. So we cannot support you anymore on this data loggers. We don't have the support for this. Better you go for any other data log. Now imagine if you have spent even the minimum, or let's say one third of the cost of the web based data logger available in the market, your one third of that cost has also gone to zero. Plus, you cannot attain a centralized monitoring system with the individual inverter based data loggers. Today, you might have Huawei inverters on one side, tomorrow, you might have SMA on the second side, or maybe on your third side, you might have Delta, and on fourth side, Sandro and Broward and Zebra, uh, uh, XYZ inverters on different sides. Imagine if you are just, just relying on to the inverter based data loggers for each and every site, how many number of sites you have, and how many number of different web views and portals you have. Can you bring them all together on a centralized location anytime? So that's why this is where a range of data loggers, starting from the basic model called WebIn models to the uh, best level called WebIn and PM, which is a data logger plus a hybrid controller for power controlling to your centralized monitoring needs. Irrespective of whatever inverter you have utilized, whatever make or brand you have utilized, whatever uh, meter or sensor you have utilized, we don't care the make and the model or the brand of this. We are only there, only only uh, dedicated for the communication part. So this is where, you know, now you can have all the data from all the sites selectively available on the same server location and ultimately on the same web portal view to see the analytics and graphical presentations, events, alerts, reports, predictions, your KPIs, everything. This actually solves out your purpose. In this, you might have a site from of 5 below on, and in the same uh, login password as, as you as an admin, you might have your site with 5 megawatt or 10 megawatt of the capacity as well. So this gives you a clear idea of you know, how to select and what you should really select and what you should really not select. But in the end, we have to first of all think about the quality whenever we are selecting any device, particularly when it and obviously the data loggers. And then we have to think about the pricings. Pricings are available from this to this in the market, as I said, but we cannot treat this as a prime factor. And then this as a secondary factor, no. We have to treat this with as quality as a prime factor we don't have to think this as a quality, we have to think at least this as a quality. And then talk about the pricing where it can go is not with its quality. Then make your decisions. This is where WebDIN is dedicated to provide you the right and the best solutions. So we have the solutions for machine uh, communications in the field of solar. Now it's been over almost like two gigawatts of the portfolio for which we have provided our solutions specifically in India, Middle East, and a few of the Southeast Asian countries. In a recent three to four years only. In addition to renewable, it's industry, where you have to really monitor your energy consumptions of different units, or maybe in the same unit of different sections uh, to make a comparison, to uh, meet up with your maximum and peak demands of the energy consumption. If you have realistic data and real-time data available, you can really make a quick decisions and good managerial decisions to uh, manage your load consumptions. Those are the old times when there was a person who was noting down all the time the DG energy meter readings and the fuel consumption readings and the machines counters reading and all this. Everything today is communicable. And this gives a real-time picture with a good graphical analytics that in just a view of five seconds can clear you how your plant is performing. So this is where monitoring is a very, very crucial role and we should never ever avoid monitoring. So if you have any queries or any questions, I'll drop down my uh, email ID in the description box. You can uh, obviously always write up and reach us. Uh, my website is always available in the description as well. And uh, be safe, be healthy, think quality, think better, and let's go up there. And so that's the end. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.